Hey there, dear friends, it's Drake again. On Crime Story Diaries, the case of 18-year-old Ana Maria Serrano shook the citizens of Mexico and Colombia, especially because this tragedy stemmed from a controlling romantic relationship. Ana Maria Serrano was an ambitious, yet naive medical student in her second month of studying at the university when catastrophe struck. On the gloomy Tuesday of September 12, 2023, her lifeless body was discovered inside her own home. Despite living with her parents, they happened to be away on that fateful day her corpse was found. The reason for their absence was that on September 8, 2023, Maria's parents embarked on a journey across Europe to celebrate their wedding anniversary. At the time of the unspeakable events, they were outside the country. Maria's father, the esteemed Jose Serrano, and her beloved mother, the charming Mrs. Jimena Kispides, had been wed for 23 blissful years. During their travels, they planned to connect with their eldest daughter, who was furthering her studies abroad in Germany. Young Anna Maria was originally meant to join in the family excursion. However, due to the start of her ambitious studies and impending evaluations, it was mutually decided that it would be best for her to remain home alone and concentrate on preparing for the pivotal exams. Their home was located in a pleasant and tranquil neighborhood within the city of Atizapan de Zaragoza, allowing Anna Maria to reside alone with only occasional visits from her housekeeper. Consequently, from evening until dawn, the girl experienced solitude within the four walls of her family's residence. Understandably concerned for her daughter's welfare during this lonesome period, Mrs. Jimena Caspedes frequently communicated with Anna Maria through letters ensuring all was well. This unprecedented span of independent living marked the first such experience for the youth. Consistent with her mother's wishes for security, Anna Maria routinely alerted Mrs. Cespedes of her plans and companions. On that day, Anna Maria informed her mother that she had arrived home, which the housekeeper confirmed. Meanwhile, it was the late hour of two in the European morning when Mr. Jose Serrano was startled from slumber by an unknown phone number. Awakened by her husband's movement, Mrs. Jimena promptly asked if the call originated from their daughter, though Jose explained the call came from an unrecognized source. His wife could not quell her disquiet and thus messaged Anna Maria at several minutes past two, inquiring if she had yet fallen asleep. Anna Maria replied that she wasn't and that she was playing with the dog. After several minutes had passed with no further communication from her daughter, Jimena grew increasingly concerned by Anna Maria's unusual response. While she typically wrote with clarity and brevity, her latest message expressed exhaustion through complicated phrases that her mother had never seen her use before. Doubting the sincerity of her claim to be merely tired, Jimena pleaded with Anna Maria to call so they could speak directly. However, her daughter's next reply cut deeply. Through solemn prose laden with emotion, she bid a final farewell to both parents. No amount of questioning could persuade Anna Maria to elaborate on what had driven her to such desperation. After sending one last message assuring her mother of her love, all contact suddenly ceased, leaving Jimena with an overwhelming sense of foreboding for her daughter's well-being. Upon receiving her daughter's frantic messages, Mrs. Jimena urgently summoned their neighbor to check on Anna Maria, concerned for her well-being. Gaining entry through the backyard door left ajar, he swiftly marched inside and was stricken by the gruesome scene that awaited. There laid the girl's lifeless frame, beyond saving. Wasted no time in informing the grieving parents, he hastily phoned the authorities. Responding promptly, Police poured in and launched their investigation into the disturbing discovery. While the initial assumption was that in a moment of despair, Anna Maria had tragically taken her own life with curtains from her bedroom in a fit of anguish, a deeper probe soon revealed a more sinister truth. Delving into her digital correspondence and scrutinizing surveillance footage illuminated activities on that fateful day, exposing this was no voluntary departure but rather a heinous crime with all evidence indicating her vengeful ex-boyfriend as the perpetrator. According to the footage captured by the surveillance cameras installed at Anna Maria Serrano's abode on the 12th of September in the year 2023, a mysterious fellow, 
dressed entirely in ebony garments and bearing a cap and mask, made three distinct appearances at the domicile of the young lady in question. His initial visit occurred in the deepest hours of the night preceding the tragic events, around three in the morning, arriving alone in a vehicle devoid of any identifying plates. The next entry was made at the hour of one in the afternoon of the ensuing day, though fate would have it that the girl was elsewhere at that moment. On this occasion, only the domestic attendant was within the residence, engaged in their cleaning duties, and the intruder reappeared driving the same auto, yet surprisingly with license plates affixed. He arrived at the familiar dwelling and inquired as to whether Anna was present, but the employee replied in the negative, stating that protocol prevented entry as the residents were absent. The gentleman persisted, arguing that he solely wished to deliver a trinket for Anna. Regardless of the employee's refusal, he at last exited. At precisely 6 p.m. on September 12th, he again pulled up to the abode in the identical automobile, and this transpired when the employee had already vacated, leaving Anna Maria alone inside. Despite concealing his visage during all three calls, the employee was able to identify him. It was Anna's ex-love, Alan Hill Romero. Owing to the employee's testimony, investigators focused their efforts on the gentleman and centered the investigation around his relationship with Anna, suspecting that he harbored a motivation for committing the crime. Alan Hill Romero had known Anna Maria and her close-knit family for many years as they were fellow classmates in school. However, the two did not develop deep affection until approximately a year and a half before the girl's untimely demise. They embarked on a romantic partnership in November 2021 and were intensely devoted to one another for 18 months. Anna's mother recounted that during this time frame, their bond appeared profoundly tender and their rapport seemed blissful. Both sets of parents occasionally allowed the teenagers to lodge overnight at each other's dwellings, trustful in their prudence. Although the parents were prudent about leaving adolescents unattended, they had faith in them as the pair excelled academically and envisioned auspicious prospects for their futures. Thus, the mothers and fathers permitted the continuation of this fleeting first love. Everything seemed tranquil until Anna Maria realized with mounting dismay that Alan had started to control every minute facet of her life. He persistently fabricated scenes of unfounded jealousy and limited her interactions with individuals he disapproved of in an attempt to isoalt her. This inevitably led to their separation in June 2023, three months preceding the girl's demise. Throughout the separation, Anna Maria confided in Alan that now their schooling had been completed and she would be pursuing higher education, it made little sense to continue the association, as it had already ceased developing. She also underscored that the physical separation wouldn't be sustainable. However, Alan wasn't willing to surrender with ease and persevered in attempting to schedule encounters with her. He unrelentingly conveyed messages to her and delivered gifts to her domicile demonstrably expending effort into striving to rekindle the relationship with Anna Maria. His attempts to reconnect varied from grand romantic gestures to humble acts of service, but she remained resolute in her decision to end their time together. Still, Alan clung to the hope that distance would not destroy what they once shared. However, the determined girl strived to permanently end their communication once and for all. She confided in her mother regarding every detail. At that time, Senora Jimena believed Alan's behavior was ordinary and even advised her daughter to reconsider, seeing him as an intelligent and good man. She could not fathom that he could be discourteous to her daughter. In reality, many found accepting their breakup difficult. Teachers and friends from both Alan and Anna Maria's families considered the pair the perfect match as they grew up together, were the top students in their school and generally excelled in all areas. Nevertheless, their paths diverged, and the girl swiftly realized this, wanting to terminate the relationship. However, Alan refused to acknowledge it. As noted earlier, surveillance footage captured Alan shortly before the crime transpired. The day preceding the crime, when Alan entered Anna Maria's residence, 
Her laptop was stolen. She informed her parents about it and assumed it may have been left at her grandmother's home, as she had recently visited. Investigators saw through this and deduced that Alan likely intentionally broke into the lone girl's house, knowing nobody was present, to steal the laptop. Furthermore, Alan keenly understood the family's schedule, being aware that her parents were away on a trip. He had visited the house several times previously and knew their small dog was allowed to roam freely in the backyard, since the door was often left unbolted. Investigators discovered Alan exploited this familiarity, stealing the laptop with intentions of scrutinizing Anna Maria's communiques to extract further intimacies about her life. After inspecting the laptop, law enforcement theorized that while perusing Anna Maria's social media exchanges, Alan encountered something triggering unmanageable fury and possessiveness. These messages unveiled Anna Maria had entered a new romance with somebody from her university. Anna Maria consistently shared all aspects of her existence with her parents, so they had been cognizant of her budding relationship. However, this information enraged Alan, causing him to immediately send her threatening messages in a burst of emotion. In these messages, his words came rapid fire, demanding that she delete photos with the new guy by nine in the evening or face dire consequences. An air of menace hung heavy in his tone as he insistently demanded a reply from her. In a moment, Alan's gentle nature transformed as his psyche spiraled into a place of hostility and possession. Soon, his messages grew more foreboding and unbalanced in tone. Sensing real danger, Anna confided her fears to trusted friends, telling them in a shuddering voice that if anything should happen to her, Alan must be the one held responsible. As evidence of her deep unease, Anna forwarded their unsettling exchange to prove she harbored legitimate safety concerns. At this fragile time, her parents lay many miles distant, unable to shelter and reassure her Vidya fact of which Alan was perceptively aware. Investigators later proposed that in the throes of such tumult, Alan's mind began to machinate vengeance using Anna's laptop, seeing opportunity in his knowledge of her home's lax security and surveillance blind spots. Furthermore, Anna Maria's murder was meticulously planned down to precise knowledge of when the house cleaner's schedule would leave her alone and vulnerable. Adding to the tragic circumstances, even the family pet failed to sound alarm at the intruder's unlawful entrance, suggesting disturbing familiarity. Forensic examination highlighted similarities between this crime and a past theft, intimating premeditation in the manner of entry. The autopsy findings cemented this was no accident or suicide, but vicious assault. Mechanical asphyxiation caused by external neck compression ended her young life, as evidenced by the telltale mark. The use of a solid object made self-infliction through rope highly implausible, confirming this was no rash act, but a calculated silencing of potential testimony. Though her mobile was with her lifeless body, the message she supposedly sent originating from another device, not her own phone, poking further holes in any story of deliberate solitary demise. Together, these discoveries reinforced the hypothesis that Alan cruelly stole her future and tried in vain to misleadingly frame her demise as self-determined. Armed with irrefutable proof, Authorities were finally able to apprehend Alan Hill Romero five days following the heinous crime on September 17th, denying him opportunity to evade the consequences of his monstrous actions. After the tragic event, Anna Maria's loved ones sought to educate the public about her true character. They depicted Anna Maria as a kind-hearted soul brimming with promise. Ever since her youth, she envisioned becoming a healer and worked relentlessly to gain entrance to the School of Medicine, as positions were extremely limited. Anna Maria immersed herself in her studies to fulfill her dreams, and in July 2023, she achieved her goal. In June, she ended a relationship of duration, and by July, she could embark on an entirely new chapter at her dream institution. Anna Maria's kin also communicated that she possessed a brilliant and magnificent spirit, charming all who encountered her. Her confidants cherished her dearly. These confidants furnished proof of Alan's culpability, dependent on the messages Anna Maria conveyed to them, and attested to the prosecution leading to Alan's arrest and trial. The confidants clarified the dynamic between Anna and Alan, 
recounting their interchanges at gatherings. Anna had expressed her concern regarding her beau on different events. It was obvious to everybody that Alan had become preoccupied with the girl. His unwholesome obsession, demonstrating through unreasonable gift-giving, could hardly be seen as standard. Anna Maria was well aware of Alan's controlling nature, having observed his possessive tendencies firsthand. Though an intelligent and resourceful young lady, she found herself unable to fully escape his domineering grip. The lively Colombian girl had always been athletic and in good health, taking after her sporty mother. With a Mexican father and Colombian mother, Anna Maria was a blend of both Hispanic heritages. She was passionate about dancing, especially enjoying lively rumba routines. Yet these dances only seemed to aggravate Alan's anger further, as watching Anna Maria smile and socialize with others during the celebratory music inflamed his jealousy. It was after one such dance that the full extent of Alan's obsession became frightfully clear. As he erupted in a volatile display, Anna Maria realized she could no longer endure his oppressive behavior. With a heavy heart, she knew she had no choice left but to end the toxic relationship before it consumed her. Those who knew Anna Maria Serrano, her loved ones and companions, will recall her as an insightful, charming girl with numerous hopes that, sadly, she will never get to accomplish. Her dreams and goals were shattered by an ex-sweetheart who couldn't acknowledge that she no longer cherished him. Merely eight days after Anna Maria's demise, Alan's mother posted a video message on social media, striving to justify her son's behaviors. She asserted he was a kind, intelligent, and reserved boy who deserved justice. However, she didn't articulate a single phrase about Anna Maria. The woman didn't push for an investigation into the case or the pursuit of the real criminal, and never discussed Anna Maria's death, despite being aware of the girl for many years. Throughout the entire video, she only protected her son, trying to persuade people not to fall for false information that could spread easily and lead to an unjust verdict. She only spoke of her son's kind nature and dedication to her studies. Unsurprisingly, Anna's relatives and friends reacted with fury to the video message from Alan's family, unable to believe the mother's stance. Rather than reach out to express sympathy for Anna's grieving parents at such a difficult time, she focused solely on defending her own child. Anna's mother found an inner resolve to address the public. Speaking in a measured yet resolute tone, she commended her lost daughter yet mentioned no ill will towards Alan. All she wanted was justice for the tragedy. Though she knew her girl could never return, law enforcement assured her Anna hadn't suffered at the end. Such destructive bonds must not be accepted as routine. Alan hiding behind a broken heart does nothing to condone her actions. Each person has autonomy over their relationships, and it must be clear that refusal demands respect. Guardians, mentors, and companions need to pay closer attention, recognizing when someone endures an abusive dynamic and requires aid to stop future tragedies of this nature from recurring. While Anna Maria Serrano's peculiar case remains under scrutiny, investigators continue compiling a diverse assortment of clues and leads into a coherent case file over the forthcoming eight weeks in preparation for the initial judicial proceeding. Thank you, dear friends, for watching. This has been Drake on the Crime Story Diaries channel. Please like and subscribe.